How to read dump files. Step 1. Open start. Click the Windows logo in the bottom left corner of the screen. Step 2. Type in view advanced system settings. This will search your computer for the advanced system settings section of control panel. Step 3. Click view advanced system settings. It's a computer monitor with a checkmark icon at the top of the start menu. Doing so opens the advanced system settings window. Step 4. Click the advanced tab. You'll see this at the top of the window. You may first have to click the computer monitor shaped icon that appears at the bottom of the screen to open the advanced system settings window. Step 5. Click settings. It's below the startup and recovery heading near the bottom of the page. Doing this will open a separate window. Step 6. Click the right debugging information drop down box. You'll find this box in the middle of the separate window. Clicking it prompts a drop down menu. Step 7. Click small memory dump. It's in the drop down menu. This option makes future memory dumps readable with a simple file explorer such as blue screen view. Step 8. Click OK. It's at the bottom of the window. This will close the window and return you to the advanced system settings window. Step 9. Click OK. Doing so saves your changes and closes the advanced system settings window. Step 10. Open the blue screen view page. Go to https colon slash slash www.nersoft.net slash util slash blue underscore screen underscore view dot html in your browser. Blue Screen View is a program that finds and analyzes dump files for you, making it easy to see which programs were running directly before a crash. Step 11. Download Blue Screen View. Scroll down and click the download blue screen view with full install slash uninstall support link that's near the middle of the page. Step 12. Open the blue screen view setup file. Double click the blue screen view underscore setup file in your computer's downloads location. Step 13. Install blue screen view. To do so, click yes when prompted. Click next click next click install. Wait for Blue Screen View to install. Step 14. Open Blue Screen View. Make sure that the Run Near Soft Blue Screen View box is checked, then click Finish at the bottom of the window. Blue Screen View will open. Step 15. Review your dump files. Blue Screen View has a top pane and a bottom pane. You'll see the dump files listed in the top pane while the programs that were recorded by the currently selected dump file will appear in the bottom pane. You can select a dump file by clicking it in the top pane. At least one of the programs that were recorded by the dump file is most likely responsible for the crash. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.